Scene one, Apple, take one. We were on the border of North Dakota and Montana. And we welcome you to Fort <laughs> Union. Sorry. What was that? <laughs> okay. We... Scene one, Apple, take two. We were on the border of North Dakota and Montana, way up north. And we welcome you to Fort Union Trading Post, National Historic Site. Let's go inside, take a look around. Good morning. Welcome to Fort Union Trading Post National Historic Site. And the site that we're at is completely reconstructed, but it's been reconstructed on its original footprint. And it originally was built in 1828 by the American Fur Company. And it closed in 1867. Uh, it was asked to have trade here by the Assiniboine people. They wanted trade closer to their home. And so with that, along with other factors, uh, Fort Union historically has become known as the largest, longest operating, most successful fur trading post on the Upper Missouri. Sounds good. Hey, thank you so you're much. You're welcome. We're looking forward to checking things out now. Yeah, we appreciate so you're it. Welcome, thank so. you. Yep. Have a great day. You too. The steep drop off here to my left indicates where the Missouri River used to be. I'm only about uh, 30 yards away from the fort itself. If you saw those original pictures, the fort, when it was originally constructed, was built right on the Missouri River. Since that time, the Missouri River now has moved probably a good 300 yards away. But at one point, this was the exact spot where the boats would uh, dock, tie up, and do their fur trading. In between the two main doors, there was this little corridor right here. And this would allow trade to still take place without people coming into the fort. Uh, concerns were smallpox and also hostility between the Indian tribes. Bastions of the fort were used as an observation tower, but also served a defensive purpose as well. That's it for Fort Union. That was interesting. Guess how many buffalo hides pass through this place? How many? 25,000 every year. That's a lot. That's a lot of trading and a lot of dead buffalo. And let's say you wanted to come here and purchase a gun. Guess how many buffalo hides that would cost you? Uh, two. No, no, a gun's worth more than that. Uh, four Nine. Uh, Nine buffalo hides to get a rifle. Great place, neat part of American history, the fur trade of the Great Plains. Peaceful existence too, between the Native Americans and the settlers. Time to move on. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video. We're doing our best to bring you highlights of America's national sites. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to America's Parks and join the family.